All right. We were with Mookie Wilson at Met Fantasy Camp. Uh, Mookie, you know, you are one of the most beloved New York Mets there is. When you see, I mean, it's how many games you're out of the, how many years you're out of the, the league now? Oh, man, I'm quick counting. <laughs> you and I both, yeah, right? We were talking count. about this yeah. the other day. But when you come out of the locker room and you see all the fans still there with the Mookie Wilson pictures and, and the baseball cards, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when they're all, you know, clamoring for your autograph out there? It's all about memory. I think, you know, if you um, hold the place of people's memories, um, uh, of your part of their lives for so many years, it's not easily forgotten. And it's just, I, I think it's a humbling experience. And I think that, um, you know, I think that's athletes, home athletes. I, I think you treasure that more than days you play because when you play every day, you can do something different. But when all you hold, have to hold on to is your memories, that's something that you, you really treasure. And I don't take that for granted. And you walk, you talk about memories, and you walk out here, and you know, you have Doc here today, you have you know, Wally, yeah. and you have Timmy Tuffle. You yeah. guys obviously a part of something tremendously special in 90% of the older guys here, some yeah. younger guys that might know, not know, but I mean, part of that Met team that makes so much memories. When you see those guys, what's the first feeling when you see Dwight, you know, for the first time walk in, or you see Wally, what's the first thing that hits you? I, and I, I think you start looking back at, you know, the good times, you know, um, what we went through, you know, how we became a, a family, and I literally mean that, you know, we are a family, no matter what you go through, no matter how many miles apart, uh, there's a connection, you know, that we have, and uh, we share each other's happiness, each other's pains, and all that, other. and that's amazing, and that, that's really amazing, because we are so culturally different, a lot of us, but we do have yeah, that income. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, I, and, and I think that that what bonds us together. And I think there's nothing stronger. Nothing stronger. Even time can't diminish that. And when you talk about even time can't diminish that, to be and you will be forever linked to, in baseball history for that play. Um, which, in, in some respects, is a great thing. Yeah. But you know, you had a great career. If you look at your stats, the, you know, does that in some way? bother you that that's the, the one play that you are defined by even though you had a great career? <laughs> I think the first thing we have to start distinguishing between great and good. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know I, I had a very satisfying career. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I'm very pleased with what I've accomplished over the years and um, it is kind of disheartening sometimes when that's the only thing that people can really say about you. Um, but then again, um, you know, you have to be grateful for the, the things that people do remember. And some of the younger people right now who've never seen me play, they actually cherish that moment just from seeing it on video. So how can I not be, you know, flattered by that? And so, no, it's disheartening sometimes because I wish people could say, I remember the hit you did in 1982 or 84, 85. And all they say, what about that play? You could be the bag and what were you thinking? So, yeah, you know, I would like for people to remember more about my career. But at the same time, I understand. It's very interesting because I, I I showed you the picture of you yeah. and I. I actually interviewed you in your rookie <laughs> yeah. year, which is, I mean, it's amazing that we're yeah, back Yeah, we here. both had hair back then. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you're the second guy that had to remind me. Hillman, now you. I mean, it's, this hair is going to be the underlying theme. But you also, you know, after your rookie year, you got to see two Mets to yeah. win rookie of the years. What do you remember about Daryl and Dwight's rookie years? Like, you know, that, you know, the, the turn, the worm had turned, as they say, as the Mets started to build. You remember, you know, seeing these two guys as rookies and what you thought as a ball player watching them? Just amazement. The amazement, the, the, the talent, the ability, you know, the athleticism of these two kids. I was amazed. And I'm an athlete, and I was amazed by what they could do. I was amazed by the prospects of what they were going to accomplish. So, yeah, I was just like any other fan. And, you know, obviously both of them had their ups and their downs. As a ball player who, to this day, still takes tremendous, you know, pride in his shape and, and his ability. You know, as a fellow ball player, when you see ability like that, that might not have, as great as they were, may have gone even further. You know, how does that make you feel being friends with them and being part of that family? Uh, there again, as I said before, that we're, we've all been friends and we share each other's successes and failures. And that's no different for those two guys. Um, because we're part of the good times and we're part of the bad times. Um, so, you know, we, I, I can't say that we could have done anything different that would have made a difference in their life, but who knows. But at the same time, uh, you have to feel for them because they are part of our family. They are very good friends, very good friends of mine. 
Um, if I was any younger, I could stay there with my brothers, but <laughs> that's not. But you know, uh, two treme tremendous people. Um, they've done themselves more harm than anyone else, and and for that, I guess you can be grateful for that if you can call that something to be thankful for. And they made mistakes. There's no question about that, and they'd be the first to admit it. But that doesn't diminish that bond and the love that we have with you. Excellent. It's, you know what? Catching up with you 30-some odd years later, it's unbelievable to be able right. to interview you again. Okay. Thanks, Mookie. Thank you.